Hey Leo, my name is Persephone and this is the Hermit Tarot channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now, if the video resonates, this is only the first free part video for the tarot reading for your yearly 2021 tarot reading horoscope. Um, I will be doing a monthly reading, meaning that I will break down every month. So I will do the 12 months in a circle surrounding you and also giving you a general reading for the year. And then I will do a clarification. The clarification is the second part. And again, if the message resonates, go ahead and feel free to purchase that extended reading. I will leave that link in the bio and also in the comments. So feel free to just click it and purchase it and it'll be yours um, to keep. So Leo, um, happy new year. I'm so happy that um, you're here and you're watching this video. Um, Leo, I really do wish you a lot of love and blessings as well. Um, 20, the year 2020 was hard for a lot of people, even kind of at the end. Um, I felt like the end of the year was kind of dragging and we were kind of like thinking like, when is this going to be over? When is this going to be over? Um, if a lot of you are into astrology, um, we are going through some sort of, um, cosmetic shift in the month, in the month of March. And in the month of March, a lot of us are going to have an attitude shift of where things are just finally going to align for us. Uh, just depending on what you really want to focus on. Some of you are focusing on love. Some of you are focusing on, um, financial freedom. Um, and some of you might be focusing on family structures. So Leo, let me do your reading here. This is the three of wands. Um, Aquarian has got that for the first video. Okay, I'm ready here. Okay, Leo. January, February, March, April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. October, I'm going to give you this two card. November, December, and a general card. So Leo, for the general reading and the general emphasis of the year, I see that you have the emperor. To me, that means that you're finally going to put yourself in a position of power. What does that mean for you? Um, Leo, like I said, finally, a lot of us are going to have that mental shift, that attitude shift where we're finally going to not only get what we deserve, but we're finally going to be accepting of what we deserve, right? A lot of us are going to be more honest with what we deserve. Um, the Emperor card also can mean Aries, right? Maybe you're partnering up with an Aries. Maybe some of you have children that are Aries. Um, maybe you, some, of, some of you are going to get pregnant. Maybe some of you are going to now meet someone that's in a position of power that's going to be resourceful. And sometimes that means that you're going to meet someone very attractive that's a little older, but again, in a position of power. Um, so in January, I have here the Seven of Cups. Now, to me, the Seven of Cups can mean a couple of things. The Seven of Cups to me means that you have a lot of options, a lot of choices, a lot of things to make a decision on, right? So Leo, that means also to me, um, in a love perspective, uh, that means that there are a lot of people still trying to get at you. If you look at your December reading, I think you were one of the people that also had just a lot of people that were chasing you, a lot of people that found you very attractive, right? Um, and to me, I feel like Leos are always like such a good time, not necessarily like Sagittarius because Sagittarius is like sloppy drunk sometimes. Um, but Leo is more like a fashionista. Um, eyes are always on Leo. Um, and Leos are never like, not to say that all Leos are not arrogant, but I tend to see that Leos are a little bit more Mm, submissive in their own right and they like the attention um, but they don't do anything crazy to get the attention um, in the month of February I see the Ace of Cups the Ace of Cups to mean either there's an apology that's coming that either you're giving or that you're receiving and also the Ace of Cups to me sometimes can also be an overflowing of a, of a opportunity of love or something with emotion like able to make an emotional connect usually obviously the month of February tends to be Valentine so maybe you might be meeting someone very new that's going to be now pulling at your heartstrings um in the month in the month of March I see here the three of cups now I generally don't like to see this as much when I see in a love reading because that means that either you are fucking around with someone who's already committed or um, there might be someone who is around you who's quite, trying to kind of entice you into doing other things that maybe you traditionally are not into, right? Maybe trying other things that are sexually adventurous. Um, but Leo, 
this also, again, without me clarifying anything, um, this also could mean a lot of partnerships, a lot of um, social networking that you're doing, that you're able to connect with people that are very like-minded with you. Um, where are we? March, April. In the month of April, I see here that you have the three of wands. That means that your perspective on things are changing. Um, you're not necessarily looking for the answers within, but you're now looking outwardly. How can I make this life better for me? And how can everyone else contribute to that? Not necessarily because you're entitled to anything, but it makes me know that you know that even though you know how to make yourself happy, you're trying to see a different outlook. Like, mm, what else makes me happy? What else can make me happy? What else can I indulge in that can benefit me at this time? Where are we? April, May. In the month of May, I have you, but I have it reversed. The strength card reversed. That means that there might be a decision that you're coming into that you're being indecisive and that you're, you're not really in control of your willpower, right? This could also lean towards that maybe you might, I don't know why I keep hearing like diet, like food, like um, maybe you're overindulging and you're seeing like, oh shit, the summer's coming. I need to have my summer body. Um, Again, I don't think that a lot of us are going to return to ever something that we feel the normal, you know, like we knew life before, like in 2019. Um, But I don't see that we're going to be constricted to the house. I don't think that we're, you know, forever just going to stay home. But now you're kind of like, oh my God, I might have eaten too much. I might have not like been taking care of myself. So now it's time to me look like the, you know, the hot shit that I'm always, you know, am. And I have to look beautiful because the hot summer months are coming. So for the month of June, I have here the Five of Swords reversed. To me, that means that you're letting go of any fucking petty, um, any petty fights, any petty um, relationships, anything that you know you were kind of indulging in that wasn't to that was toxic to you. You're kind of like, you know what? That is so beneath me. I am done with all that bullshit. In the month of July, I see here you have the Ten of Pentacles, which means that financially you're coming into realization of what works and what does not work. And that also can mean to me that you might be coming into a large sum of money right maybe some of you are winning the lottery maybe I, I hope so i hope a lot of you are winning the lottery um another thing is that you might come into some sort of um financial gain here um maybe some of you might be looking at some sort of inheritance um and then some of you might be coming into a promotion a job promotion and maybe few of you are getting into a sugar daddy um, speaking of sugar daddies, in the month of August, you have the Ace of Wands. So let's me know, like, this is always my dick card, my phallus card, um, my sexual induendo card. Um, depending on what, what we get for the clarification here. But the Ace of Wands to me means that you're going to be getting it on. Um, you're going to either meet someone that makes you feel very lusty and you're going to kind of sexually be very satisfied in the month of August. Um, for the month of September, I have here the Two of Wands. So remember we talked about having a different perspective on things and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't work. I think now in the month of September, you're kind of like, okay, I put things in place. Um, I set things aside. And now I kind of see what else is out there. What's coming? You're kind of waiting to see. Like, okay, I've already made the decisions. So now let's see the outcomes of this. Now for the month of October, I have here the Nine of Pentacles, which means that you can either be dealing with a Virgo, um, an Earth sign, a Capricorn Taurus, but usually the Nine of Pentacles tends to be my Virgos. And I have here the Eight of Wands reversed. So there might be a little bit of a delay here in the month of October. Um, again, I see that in July, you had like a very long, large lump sum that was coming in and you were really financially looking good. Um, maybe you were expecting another lump sum. I wonder if this is like the stimulus check coming up. But anyway, um, you were waiting for like another hit, like another like successful turnout for financial gain. Um, but there's a little bit of a delay here. I don't know communication wise, like either something is not being told to you, either some information is being withheld or the lump sum that you're waiting for is a little delayed. It's not, it's not that it's not coming. It is coming, but it's a little slower than anticipated for the month. Uh, where are we? November. November, I see here the six of pentacles, but reversed. Now, because there's a delay a little bit, um, before that month, the Six of Pentacles lets me know that you are kind of holding on to the re resources that already are in place. So like, again, this this looks like a little bit more of a financial, um, a financial, I don't want to say worry, but more of a financial, like, um, emphasis on the year. Um, Leo, 
with love and sex, you're looking really good for 2021. Um, but financially, I think that you need to learn your spending habits because I've always met Leos who are never cheap. Leos are usually, well, I met one guy that was kind of cheap. Um, but Leos tend to be like, if I got it, I'll spend it. Um, if I'm able to, to find a way to make it, I'll do it. Right. And because there was a little bit of a delay with another lump sum that you were either going to receive or some money that you were waiting to get. Um, I think that that made you pause on some of the, um, shopping sprees or any um, big financial decisions that you were looking to place you put them on hold. And for the month of December, I see that you have the justice card reversed. That lets me know that in the month of December, you are going to now put a pause on a lot of the things that you normally thought you were going to have, right? Because remember, you got a large lump sum, you got a new person coming into your life that's giving you a lot of sexual needs, but the justice card reverse lets me know that there's still something that you're kind of waiting for. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean legality wise, but it could mean that you're kind of still waiting for something else to drop. You're still waiting for something else to come up. Um, maybe for some of you, it's legality issues. Maybe it's a, um, what's it called? A legal case to finally come to an end. Um, also, maybe you're kind of waiting for those mentors, that family members, those older people that you were kind of waiting um, for some sort of news. It's a little bit delayed. Um, so let me go and get some clarification here. Let me put everything in the way it was supposed to be. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, general. Um, so Leo, remember I talked about uh, an emperor. It could be either you're finally taking a position of power um, or you're meeting someone with a position of power. I have here the toll and labor. So again, Remember I talked about this reading is really taking like a financial uh, emphasis. Your money is it's going to be not necessarily a concern, but you're finally going to get that bag. But you need to be on top of that bag, Leo. Um, Leo, it, it seems to me that there is going to be some sort of a manager that's going to either partner up with you and give you that promotion. And that's what you're finally waiting. Um, also, maybe you're finally going to get into a position again, um, career wise, in a position of power where you're finally able to make these decisions but again you have to be very careful with making these decisions because i see that you're going to gain a lot financially um money wise you will be gaining a lot but remember that not everything is always going to be consistent right and some things are just out of your hands leo all right leo so i'm gonna go ahead and do the clarification for the second part leo um so don't forget to like subscribe share comment let me know if you like these um, I do have a couple of videos on some of YouTube influencers like Jeffree Star, Trisha Paytas, Shane Dawson, James Charles, Tati Westbrook. If you like that, go ahead and click on the I Don't Need Tea, I Have Tarot playlist that I'll link up here. If you're interested in the second part of this video, go ahead and click on the link in the comment section. Go ahead and purchase that video and that would help me so much. This is Persephone. This has been another video for the Hermit Tarot channel. Leo, I wish you the most abundance in the year 2021. January, this is where it starts. You have a lot of decisions to make. You have a lot of options and opportunities that are being presented to you, Leo. So please make the most of it. Um, I'll see you next month. Bye, Leo.